what's up everyone here to give you hunter x hunter episode 88 okay so this week's episode was pretty good um a lot happened it seemed like for one episode we switched to a lot of different scenes but um overall i thought it was a pretty good episode but i'm, I'm kind of ready for going and kill to be done with the training and start fighting chimera ants again because i want to honestly see how strong they are but anyways the episode starts off with <laughs> shoot from where we left off before and he's hiding watching like gone and kill or he's, he's like lurking on them and he <laughs> we find out that he's actually a coward and i don't know it was kind of like more of a comedy thing in my opinion kind of like knuckle I, I thought that knuckle would be like a really tough guy but we see his true colors now but um, I wonder if Togashi's gonna keep sticking with that route as far as shoot or what's gonna happen with him. But, anyways, after that, we go to Gon and Killer training, and Bisky talks about how they can train for, or they can actually hold their ran, I believe it is, up for two hours now, and it's not a big deal anymore. So, they made a lot of progress in their training, and after that. <laughs> We go to Palm and she is just losing it because um, she actually knows what Bisky knows. She says it a little bit when they start uh, eating a little later. She talks about how she knows it'll take them 10 days. And I just thought that was interesting. And it kind of shows like just the strength difference of hunters that have like been hunters for a minute now. But after that, going with this like optimistic self just calms her down and <laughs> i don't know she obviously has a crush on going so that's probably the reason why but after that we go over to the chairman nove and morel and they're taking out ants as they were before and the chairman is just doing it like it's nothing and it just makes me really wonder because i believe nove says that he's underestimating himself so i i wonder how strong he actually is compared to Net Puto. But we'll see about that stuff a little later. But after that, we go into the Trimera Ants Castle and they talk about how they like hate the humans and they wonder like how strong they actually are. And I actually wonder how strong they are compared to them also, but they are training their Nin, so we haven't really seen them clash with their Nin yet, but I'm sure we'll find out pretty soon. But after that, I was actually pretty confused about this part. It was, I believe it's Shia Poof and Nethi Puto, and he was playing, like, it, it clearly was Nin. It was, looked like a red bug playing stuff on strings, and I thought that maybe in the background that actually was that was actually kite and i don't know it just kind of confused me and it looks like nephew puto was just watching and um, after that as he's playing the music we finally get introduced to the last royal guard and i'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name but i'm just gonna call him what they called him at first yuppie and he looks like a beast he looks like a muscle head and like he'll do some serious damage right after we go back to Gon, Killa, and Knuckle, and I was actually pretty glad that Gon's gonna fight him one-on-one -on -one because I really didn't want to see them fight him like two-on-one -on because I thought it would have defeated the purpose of their training, but uh, after that, Gon and Knuckle, they talk a little bit of crap and they say, where's your partner at? And he's not selling him out, but I think that Gon's gonna end up defeating him anyways, but he starts fighting him and yeah he finds out that knuckle is pretty strong but after that we go back to morale and nove and they're actually making a bet on which disciples will come and morale he thinks that gone and kill will just be like sacrifices and he thinks that his students should come and for some reason nove just he believes in them and he's going with the chairman and them and they bet a thousand jenny which i have no idea how much that is but i think in japanese currency that would be like 
a hundred grand, but I'm not absolutely sure. But anyways, after that, they make the bet and we go back over to Gone and Knuckle. And <laughs> Gone is really shocked by how strong he is and he's, he's actually losing. And I don't know what the reason is, but he, Knuckle just points out his flaw and says, you actually have two flaws in your technique, talking about his rock, paper, scissors. So I really wonder what Gon's falls are, but in my opinion, I think it's gonna be something like he can't use it while he's moving because um, we've only seen it once, but it kind of seems like he has to like stand there and power it up, but hopefully he'll get better and Knuckle will end up helping him. But after that, we go back over to the chairman and he says something really odd. And he says that he's gonna have to sacrifice someone. And it, that just kind of threw me off guard, but it should be interesting when we see where that goes. But that's my review and thanks for watching.